Howdy folks, Matt here with Gulf Coast Fit. Joining me is Xavier and we are about to get hardcore with a core giant set. How do you like that pun? So this is a weighted carry giant set and what it addresses is core stamina. Now you need a, um, this is a, yep, you need a semi-heavy dumbbell. Now Xavier can handle more than 30 pounds, but that's good for demonstration purposes, but a medium heavy dumbbell. So this is a single sided uh, giant set, every single variation. Well, actually, except that last one. Most of these are single-sided, where you're going right side, left side, working the core from different angles. Um, the duration or the distance is uh, 10 to 50 meters each direction. So that's 20 up to 100 meters per weighted carry variation. Again, this is working core stamina. So it might not necessarily be a quick set, but it's not so long to where it's endurance. We wouldn't call it endurance, it's stamina. Uh, you need a medium heavy dumbbell, something that challenges you to complete each variation to where you are grateful that you're moving on to a new variation. And then finally, really one of the uh, big uh, emphasis here is the anti-movement um, kind of benefit here. When you're holding something on a single side, you're uh, avoiding any unwanted lateral flexion of your spine, any rotation. We're trying to stay neutral, stay tall, and keep our spine nice and packed with a lot of um, inner abdominal air pressure. So our first variation is a suitcase carry where you hold the weight down by your side. You'll switch hands halfway, just like you're carrying a suitcase. The next variation is an overhead carry to address single arm overhead carry to address overhead stability, a whole nother way to hit your core. Then a front rack carry, which is a good way to address posture. A front rack, a lot like a front squat, you're holding the weight in front of you, avoiding the dumbbell pulling you forward into kind of a hunched position. And last up, a cradle carry, which is essentially a bicep curl within a weighted carry. Now holding an isometric bicep while you uh, walk with it, really hammers the posterior chain. So Xavier, let's grab your dumbbell. We're gonna start here at the beginning of the trooper. So scoot back with me a little bit. And we're gonna go to the end of the aisle, which is about uh, 15 meters down, 15 back. So we're starting with 30 meters of each. She's got a suitcase position and we're walking with it. Now, as simple as this is, which is great for anyone to get right into it, you do look how neutral and vertical her spine is no lateral flexion there's always something to think about spin around switch hands so she's thinking about keeping her shoulders level her hips level walking tall walking steadily not letting the dumbbell pull her sideways and also not allowing the dumbbell to jar banging her in the hip less jarring the better all right we're going right into the next variation you switch arms again into an overhead position, hoist it on up. Now she's really shrugging and punching the sky. And we're working on overhead stability, really good for your rotator cuff muscles, really good for posture. And the further that dumbbell is away from you, it gives you a whole another type of effect and benefit as far as core stability and strength goes. Switch arms. When your dumbbell's kind of heavy, you can push press it up. You can use two hands, you could clean it up, snatch it up multitude of ways to get it up there. See how locked out her arm is, her bicep is right next to her ear. Scapula is nice and stable. Dumbbell's not pulling her sideways out of whack. All right, and we are going to switch arms again, going into the front rack position. Notice how her elbow's in front of her. She is keeping the dumbbell off of her shoulder, which makes it a little bit harder. I'm a fan of that. If you need to set it down on your shoulder, then you have that option, but try to start with it off of your shoulder, challenging your biceps, your grip, your shoulder, and your upper back a little bit more. Always firm contact into the ground, pushing the floor away from you, engaging the hips, and that's what's helping her walk so steadily. She's not just letting that dumbbell kind of compress and decompress and spring up and down. She's pushing the floor away from her as she walks. Now we're holding the isometric dumbbell curl. Bring it down a little further. There we go. So the forearms are about 90 degrees at the elbows, forearms close to parallel to the ground. 
Now holding an isometric bicep curl in and of itself is challenging. Remember, this is the only one that's not a single-sided exercise. Bring it right back up and bring it back. What you can do if you have to is change the angle. If you need to bring it up higher to make it easier. She does not need to do. Holding that dumbbell in front of her really works the entire posterior chain and squat it down. Nicely done. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> the dumbbell, well, that was for demonstration purposes. 30 pounds might be enough for a lot of folks. Uh, if this was a training session and not a video, I'd probably bump that weight up on her a little bit. But that was a perfect demo. Thank you. And that is our weighted carry giant set. Stay strong, hardcore.